I was working on a Nuxt project the other day and I ran into this very interesting problem that really stopped me cold. I wasn't really sure what to do and I had to do some research so I wanted to show you guys a couple of quick tips so if you ever run into this problem you don't have the same issues that I had with it. So I went ahead and created this sample application just to show you what this problem is. It's essentially just a hello world app. I have one route called hello that returns world. So if I go to API slash hello, you can see hello world. In my particular scenario, I had to create an env file to store some secret information and also some public information that I wanted the front end to know about. So being a diligent, good developer, I created a .env file. And inside that file here, I put some secrets. So first I put a secret variable and I'll put some secret. And to access that, uh, since we know that Nux works with process.env, I can come up here and I can just add in process.env.secret. To test this out, I came in here, I looked on, since this was running on the server, I opened up my console here, I refreshed the page. And as you can see here, the .env file works perfectly fine. It's as I expected. And so I thought, wow, this is really nice. I'm glad that Nuxt, and I believe Next does this too, the .env file is being read correctly. I don't have to do any other configuration and it works fine from these server routes. So I thought maybe I can add in a public string that I can use in the public side of my app. So I'm going to, in my .env file, I'm gonna create something called my public and it'll be public will be the string in here. And then in my app.view, I should be able to just use it, right? So I'll do const my public equals process.env.myPublic. And then I'll use it inside my app here. Now something strange happened. So when I reset it, you can maybe see this on the camera. It displays for a second and then it disappears. So this was kind of bewildering to me. Why was it kind of appearing and disappearing? So if I go into my inspect and I open up the console part, you can see it has this hydration text mismatch. So essentially on the server, it has access to this, this hydration, to this variable, but on the client, it doesn't. So you get this weird error where it kind of appears and disappears. So obviously that's not right. So uh, how do you solve this? If you know, leave a comment below. So I found a couple of different ways. First, since we're using Vt in Nux, there's actually a specific way you can type variables and they'll be available in your public app. So first what I would did is I went in back into this .env file and I deleted my public and I created something called Vt my public, public info. So I can change this process.env to import.meta.env.now this new variable. And it has to start with vite underscore. So I'll do vite underscore my public. And if I save it, now I have the information. And if I look back inside the console, I don't have this hydration mismatch that I had before. And it seems to work pretty well. Then I thought, well, there might be a better way to do this. I mean, how would you know to add vite underscore to all your variables? Uh, that's a little bit of a pain. And so I came across runtime config. So let's take a look at how this would work. But there is a gotcha to runtime config as well. So I have this variable, this public variable using import.meta.env. But let's, let's assume we're not using this. I'm just gonna go back to my public. And so what I'll do is I'll go into the Nux config and I can add this thing called runtime config. And there's a couple of options. I can either add in public variables or I can use have private variables. So anything in the top level here that I put in would be private variables. But since I'm already having it work correctly with the process.env in my server route, I'll just leave this as is. So what I'm really concerned about is the public ones. So if I come in here and I'll do public, and I'll do, I don't know, my public, and then I'll have that equal process.env, and I called it my public, my public. I can now access this inside my app view file. So instead of doing this import.meta.env, I can do use runtime config, and then I'll do public here and do my public, and if I save it, 
I come back here, here it is, some public info's there, no hydration mismatch, no, no problem. However, uh, there is a problem with doing it this way, and this is something you should never, never, ever, ever do. And I'll put a link to a video kind of describing why you shouldn't do this as well if you guys want more information. But let's assume that we're building this. Uh, so if we do npm run build, this will create a build of our app. If we, after it's done building, let's assume we want to run the preview. I'll do npm run preview. This is basically what's gonna look like in production. And if I refresh it, it's still working. But we kind of expect variables, especially environmental variables, to be able to be changed in real time without having to build again. So let's say I change this, this uh, my public. So I'm gonna export my public. I'm gonna set it to one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna run npm run preview again. And if I come back here and I refresh it, you can see it actually didn't change it to one, two, three, four, five. So it's like almost like it's hard coded in here. And so this is kind of confusing. Like why isn't this working as we expected it? Well, it actually kind of gives you a hint. So if I put my cursor over here, it says it needs to be overridden using Nux public. And if you come down here, it's actually needs to be Nux public underscore my public, which is kind of a mouthful. But instead of overriding the my public, we have to do this weird Nux public my public. So let's try that. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do nux public my public and try this out. And so if I do this, now it's updated. So this is pretty confusing uh, way of doing it. I probably uh, wouldn't recommend people to name their variables like this. So what I've done to make this much more simpler so instead of having my public here, I'm going to use the convention that it recommends. So if we have public variables that need to get changed, it really should be in this format, nux underscore public underscore my, and then since it's two words, my public. And now when I come back into the nux config, I'm gonna change this from my public to nux underscore public slash my slash public. So that way these, this .env file matches here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick rebuild. And if I run npm run preview, I still have the one, two, three, four, five, cause it, it still has what I had last time when I changed it. So if I come back here and I change this to, I don't know, one, one, five, and I run this again, you can see now it's updated to one, one, five. So now the environmental variables uh, match the configuration that Nux is expecting. So these are all kind of little things that might trip you up when you're using Nux with environmental variables. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Thanks.